All right, so the Vancouver Canucks just played their first game in four and a half months, and it didn't really go the way any of us wanted it to. They got ultimately outscored and outplayed by the Winnipeg Jets. Okay, fine. It's their first Hockey game back in, like I said, four and a half months. Doesn't mean anything. You know, this isn't the play-in series. But, as a diehard Vancouver Canucks fan, I don't want to see the Canucks get outplayed like that, basically, and just get outscored. And who knows, the first game against Minnesota on Sunday, we could win 5 nothing. Who knows? But one thing coming out of this game that I wanted to talk about was prospect Ole Yalevi. Now, first of all, it was great to see Ole Yalevi in this game. And that he actually earned a spot over Ashton Sautner and Guillaume Brisois, who are both older and really have more experience than Ole Yalevi. But if I'm not mistaken, Sautner and Brisois are back in Vancouver while Yalevi earned a spot traveling with the team to Edmonton into the bubble, as it were. I thought Yalevi's game tonight was perfectly fine. I didn't see any glaring issues with it. Um, his defense seemed fine. His passing seemed fine. I think people talking about how Yalevi was a bust is really overblown. Um, it was never his play that was an issue. He, he just happened to get injured a lot. And it had nothing to do with his play. His draft plus one year, he stayed um, with the London Knights. And then... After that, his draft plus two year, he went back to Finland and played under Sammy Salo. And really, from what I understand, really learned the game there. Playing, I believe, with uh, Turku TPS in the Finnish Liga. And then his first year in Utica, which was last year. We're still saying last year because this, this current season is still going. But last year... Um, he was almost a point per game. I don't know the stats offhand, but he was almost a point per game. And then he got hurt. And he was shut down, basically, for the season. And then this year, from what I understand, you know, following along his progression and whatnot, Ole Levy was playing just fine. Like I said, his play was never an issue. It's just he got injured a lot. That That's what slowed him down. I believe... Ole Olevi would have made his debut in the 18-19 season it, had he not um, been injured. But he was injured, so he wasn't able to make his debut. He was bas basically shut down for that entire season. And um, But just watching him, I was really excited when I, when I turned the game on and I saw that Olevi was dressed for this game. And... You know, his passes, his outlet passes from his zone through uh, neutral ice and his defensive play. Thought he looked fine. Thought there was no glaring issues in his game. So, I honestly think that Ulevi could potentially earn a spot over Fantenberg come game one over Minnesota. And then, you know, definitely earn a spot over... Whoever else could occupy that third left defenseman spot in training camp next season. I think Levy's ready. He's 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 put in the work. He's re really earned his spot. You know, going through the Finnish Liga two years, albeit shortened by injury. In Utica. I think this kid is really going to prove that he can still be a top four defenseman. That's why he was taken fifth overall. So I I really like Levy's game. Let me know what 
you guys think of Levy's game in this first game back here. It was kind of cool seeing him come in as the seventh defenseman. Kind of, you know, they're positioning him against Fantenberg to see kind of who is going to take that spot. Of course, Jordy Ben is back home in Dallas waiting for his his girlfriend or fiance or whatever to give birth. So the fact that that's happening gives Ole Olevi an opportunity to come in and prove his worth and. I was really excited to watch him play tonight, and I thought he looked good. You know, I I can't remember one moment where I thought, oh, Ulevi got burned there, or, or he made a bad play, or whatever. So, anyways, let me know what you guys think of Ulevi's game in, you know, the exhibition game against the Jets. Of course, the Canucks lost. That sucks, but ultimately doesn't mean anything what... What does matter is um, how they come out against the Jets, or not the Jets, but the Wild on Sunday in Game 1 of the qualifier. So let me know what you guys think. It's just great to have Canucks hockey back, isn't it? It's fucking awesome. It is fucking awesome to have hockey and the Canucks back. It's just, it's fucking amazing.